Paul, when he writes to different churches, he says, grace and peace be multiplied unto you. If you look at all the epistles of Paul, so that is biblical greeting. We say peace. If you are disturbed at some, some things, we speak peace. I want to talk about relationships still. The one that will cause God not to use you. Is there chances that after being involved in a relationship, God rejects you? Is there chances? When you get married to the wrong person, you become a reject. Do you know God rejects people and never uses them? Like he told Saul, he was asking Samuel, he was asking Samuel, he told Samuel, why are you still struggling with Saul? I have rejected him. Go and anoint who? David. Imagine if God rejects you and you are on earth. Saul was 20 years old in leadership or he has ruled for 20 years or even I think less when God rejected him but he continued on that leadership position for 38 years for, for 18 more years as God has rejected him so he never had peace all his life as I told you one of the reasons as to why God created you he wants to use your life in a very unique way when you are on the face of the earth. So that when you go to heaven, you tell God, I have done this. Like for me, if Jesus come back, or if I go to heaven, I don't know what to tell him. At least I tell him, when I was in Marsabit, I've done some work. You know, even this is being recorded in heaven. All the youth meetings that I do all over this land, all over, I tell him, this is my place of assignment is Marsabit County, and I've begun. This is so my relationship with my wife should not hinder the work that God has given me, or I should not hinder the work that God has given my wife for accomplishing what God expects of her. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So when you get involved with somebody you have to be aware of the assignment or the plan or the purpose that God has for your life. That is what you must be. In fact what we must know even tomorrow when you begin business that you are going to do business together. If they are not Christians, there will be challenges somewhere. Your life is different from the life of an unbeliever. Everything about your life should bring glory to who? God. That's why God is so concerned with anybody you engage with in a healthy way in an healthy way. It must, might not just be that the wedding, the marriage thing. Any other engagement that you have. Just like when Abraham was sending his servant, he said, he said, the God of heaven and earth, that's how he spoke. You have to walk in line with that now that it is the will of God for my son to be, to be married or to marry, as you go, he will go before you. Anything that is not the will of God, like taking my son there is not the will of God, don't do it. You must come to a point in this walk with God as you are growing up spiritually. You must come to a point where 
you are so sensitive about what does not please God and then you stop it Amen sensitive is God can God be pleased with this if it is not I am not, to, not going to engage in in it is God that's, that's the mindset of Abraham and that should be our mindset even Jesus says the same thing does this thing please God so it is of importance to know I'm saying it is of importance to know what pleases God and what does not please God especially when it comes to relationship now when it comes to marriage I know of I read a lot about great men of God who have done wonders and I know some of them who have got married to the wrong person and their ministry has never gone anywhere do you know after you come in this life you begin going up as far as God is concerned your ministry should affect seven continents of the world if you are not called to ministry some are called to business your business must operate in the seven continent of the what is it that hinders people from this expansion God owns the whole universe he is not the God of Marsabit only he is the God of the whole world I mean God is the God of the whole world when he begins something whatever comes from within you can flood the whole world that is where he wants you to reach so some of the men of God listen let me make it a bit also clear it is not only people working for God whose ministry and everything should become worldwide everybody of us anything you begin can saturate the whole world that's the way God is using me in ministry he can use you in anything you are doing be it business if you are a politician there is nothing wrong with a believer being to be, being to be a, a politician the only challenge with it is if you have not grown spiritually you will forsake God so what is so important about all of us is growth spiritually spiritual growth is about having the perspective of God concerning all things knowing things the way God knows everything is it possible yes if you are taught you will know chapter number 6 of 2nd Corinthians verse 14 the Bible says do not be equally yoked together with none believers you know what to be equally yoked with the non believers means now for some of us who know uh, how we I know many of us are not are not farmers in this place you might try to imagine two bulls huge bulls ox yeah the name is the, 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 the name is ox that you pull together by a yoke and then it has to be driven by somebody behind there and they have to go in the same direction so imagine if you are born again another one is not born and they are yoked can they go in the same direction born again not and you, you know you're pushed in the same direction the direction you're going into is marriage and the direction is going into marriage so somebody is not born again and you're born again the word of God, the one that is driving us, whatever's driving us is the word of God. 
Now this one does not know the word of God. You know the word of God. Pastor is speaking to you. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Listen, the person who is not born again does not have the Holy Spirit. He has the evil spirit. If somebody is not born again, he is not of God. He does not belong to God. This other one who is born again, he is of God. So it is like two people with different fathers are yoked together. Now what I'm speaking to you, I know you might not be in such kind of marriage or relationship, but I will not assume that it might not happen to you. Because we have seen people we have grown together. Myself when I was as young as you are. People have grown together in church and now who have married Muslims, so many of them are there. And sometimes like just recently, very, just like a month or two ago, somebody who you cannot imagine can get married to a Muslim because she is now pregnant. She didn't want somebody to know that she is. She left. So we were wondering, why did you leave? Myself, I tried to follow. She does not pick my call. So we do, cannot assume, especially when you are young, you might, might find myself in the wrong place. Hmm? And I'm not saying that it will happen to you. But it is good for you to know you become a reject as far as God is concerned. Now, number one is you, you disqualify yourself for the, for the work that God is already doing on earth because if God is to, to look for somebody to use, you will be the last one he can choose. If, if he cannot find anyone, he can use you. Are you hearing me? And it means you are useless to God all your life. You will still go to heaven because you believe Jesus. But you were of no use for God on, on earth. You are of no use. So there is no reward that will wait for you. Might be in our next meeting. We need to talk to them about the coming of Jesus. Jesus is very near. Nearer than you think. Let me tell you, he is coming in this generation. I know you have not been told. Praise the Lord. In this generation. I will read the Bible and show you. Now, if you can listen to the radio, we speak on C5M every Saturday and Sunday. Voice of Victory, C5M. I think many people here from this side. I don't know how many here. I know so many people here from this church. We are talking about the coming of Jesus. The whole of this year, from January we have begun until the end. And it will describe to you how Jesus might come even in less than 10 years. Hey! Sunduguma. Eh. And when he comes, you know what happens? We all go. And the first thing that will happen in heaven after we go, the Bible says we'll be at the judgment seat of Jesus. Chapter number 5 of 2 Corinthians verse 10. It says we will appear at the judgment seat of Christ. So all of us will present what we did before him. And we, we get our crowns depending on what we did for him while we are on earth. So I want you to live this life like somebody that God specifically decided, uh, specifically sent on earth to do something. So that even when you engage yourself in any relationship, you know that can this relationship hinder what God expects of me? That's why I was saying in the morning, even another believer that is still in the church who is lazy in working himself or herself spiritually, avoid them. Don't marry them. A lazy believer who is not growing spiritually. I will not have a man for that. Let's read chapter number 21, 25 of the book of Genesis. So many people are wondering, why did God reject? Huh? 
Why did God reject somebody here? The Bible says, I'm reading chapter number 25 of Genesis verse 21. And Isaac Isaac pleaded with the Lord to give Rebecca a child because she was childless. So the Lord answered Isaac's prayer and his wife became pregnant with, with twins. Verse 22. But the two children struggled with each other in her womb. So she went to ask the Lord about it. Why is it? Why is this happening to me? She asked. And the Lord told her, The sons in your womb will become two rival nations. One nation will be stronger than the other. The descendants of your older son will serve the servants of your younger son. And when the time came, the twins were born. The first was very red at birth. He was covered with two, so much hair that one would think he was wearing a piece of clothing. So they called him Esau. Then the other twin was born with his hand grasping Esau's heel. So they called him Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when the twins were born. God told, God told Rebecca, the same Rebecca we were talking about. You can imagine, God can speak to a mother about the children in the womb. It can happen in our generation. Amen. Some of the things I'm speaking here, some of us look at it like very strange. Yeah? Can it happen? It will. Can God reveal to you your future? Yes, he can. It depends on how intimate you are with him. Rebecca, you now see why Isaac has to marry Rebecca. And Isaac was more strong spiritually than Rebecca. He prayed for him. Do you know she was a barren woman? Because where we have just read in verse 21, the Bible says, Isaac prayed for Rebekah. His prayer was too powerful to open his, her womb. But then just getting children is not enough. Why are they struggling in my womb? And God told Rebekah, there are two nations in your, in your womb. And one is the enemy of the other. Can two brothers who are born in their mother's womb become enemy on earth? Yes, it is written here. God knew himself from far, even before he was born on earth. I do not want to tell you that God created Esau like that. So that he becomes rebellious to God. Why did God reject him from far? He says the younger, the older will serve the younger. That's God talking. Now you see why it happens like this. Let me read for you why it happens. Let's go to chapter. But what I want to show you is this from the beginning. God is telling the mother that the older will serve the younger why was it like that let's go to the next chapter chapter 26 the last two verses the last two verses chapter 26 verse 34 and 35 and Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the mother of Barry, the Hittite, and Bashmath, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite. 
which were a grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. You remember Abraham sent his servant where? To his land for the wife to come from there. Isaac got, Isaac got his wife from there. Esau decided to marry from Canaan where Abraham did not want to get a wife for his son from there. Esau just decided without telling anybody to get a wife. Sikuna vijana kama hawa when you are kuskia wazazi. I remember one in Marsabit. At the end of the talk, I took a akaleta kwa nyumba. Nani mkristo? Saba is in our church. So some was like, Allah, sigur ba. You know, for him, it's not even a big deal. To nash to kia tunta wa yadu fema na wa kano was. Yeah? And then, like, the, the parents are wondering, is this good woman told you? Behum fed. And they still stand there to face the worst user star. Why are you here? That is how Esa was. Don't care. You know, if you don't care what God says, you will not, don't, you will not care what people say. Did you hear what I said? If you don't care what God said, you will not care what people will. Why can you not over that man at all? Why can you see two some feathers sit like a smile? See one that sat out giraffe, one at cage, soon it's a lucky thing. You want Fedi Wakatin Allah. What's that chit? All the hanky at Chuma Target. Kasini. If you do things outside the will of God, you have walked outside the will of God. So the devil will, chat, will deal with you accordingly. And God will not come to help you. Until you come back and say, I have sinned, forgive me. That is the kind of person Esa was. The Bible says his wife was a grief of mind, both to his parents, both to his, both his parents. To Isaac and your marriage is important to God. Imagine parents always wondering. Now they they brought you up. With all the expenses you have costed them. Do you know how much you have costed your parents? From the day they were born until where you are. And then you still want to cost them too much all the days of their life. Simply because you don't do what God says. It is not, this is the kind of person Esau was. He didn't care. He didn't even marry one. He went for two. Hmm? He went for two. Not one, two. Did Isaac marry two? Huh? Isaac married only the father. He is now having. And remember, Isaac is having covenant with God because of Abraham. What God expects of Isaac is that Isaac will continue the seed of the Rashias to be born on the face of the earth. Because the mission that God has with Abraham is to create a nation that will hear the word of God and live on earth. 
Because the whole world are worshipping idols. And God is looking for a specific person that he is going to use to make his name known on earth. Do you know until today we have the same work we are the children of Abraham. Are you aware? We say Abraham is our our father. The same mission that Abraham has is the same mission that we have today. We have to bring people to the knowledge of God. So many people are worshipping something else. So many people are worshipping something. Something else. Worshipping moon. Worshipping Some are even saying there's no God. But those same people, God expects you to bring them back to, to even today. So, if you go to the next chapter, what do you see? From verse 1. And it came to pass, chapter 27, verse 1. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, Let me write, let me leave that one. Uh, it might take me somewhere. Twenty-seven verse forty-two, sorry. Let's read chapter twenty-seven, verse forty-two. The Bible says the two wives of Esau brought grief of mind to his parents. Now Rebecca is just so tired of the wives of Esau. Verse 46 of chapter 27. He says, And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as this, which are the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? In other words, he's tired. May this never be your portion. In Jesus name your parents should be so happy about you so happy so that you know you might not are you able to bless your parents is it possible to say that it is the other way around they are the one that bless why will they bless you if you make the right decision they will bless you in fact, when you make the right decision, oh, in fact, even some other parents will admire you because their children have gone terrible ways. May God protect you from evil in Jesus' name. You know, when I talk to you, I know what is in the world we are in. I know what is in the world we are in. So Rebecca is just tired. I am tired. The only person that she is happy about is Jacob. Even from his tender age, he is a blessing to his parents. May that be your portion. Imagine when they, your parents remember about you and all they can talk of is to bless you. You don't need to get them inheritance from them. The blessing they give you will bring much inheritance to you. When your father and your mother say it, whatever you have begun, may it grow. That is enough. God cannot go beyond what your parents have said to bless you. The first person who blesses you is who? Your parents, not God. God cannot bless you when your parents are hungry at you. Especially if you're not doing the right things. Hmm? Yeah, that is it. And you know, the Bible 
says honor your father and your mother so that your days would be prolonged on earth did he say that what does honoring mean obey them in the Lord your parents look at the word of God that's why they brought you here and they expect you to live in that word of God when you like for example if they send you here and you come you already have a blessing In fact, your parents are trying to defend the law of God when they push you in the presence of God. Do you think you'll be blessed? What you are learning here, I am praying that, uh, my friend, if you are to help these people, organize this thing frequently. And I'm very serious. I've seen churches in Marsabit, in Western Kenya, everywhere, where youths are not taught the word of God. Anywhere I go and speak to youths, I see youths who are so hungry for the word of God because they have not been taught well. If they are taught like what we are teaching them, like these people, if they sit here for like three, four years, their life will change the lives of others. One of the reasons as to why many youths, wherever I go, are not really doing well, are getting themselves in things that are not right, the church has not given them this opportunity. In fact, you people are blessed to even have meetings within the week. Kuna ma churches in Afunguli or Tusande Pekeaki. Leo Barak wana preach. Joseph on a preach the other day Esther preaches the other day Dennis and all of them are confused and the whole church is confused all the youths are confused you know me I <laughs> when I go across this land I just look at people I study so much so confused and they are not confused people than youths and they are experimenting everything they have not been given the right understanding of the word of God. If you are taught rightly, you live rightly. You cannot live right. Can you, do you know what the word of God asks you to do? You only do by the ability the word of God has created in you to do it. One of the truths I know inside here, there are people who will exactly live the way I'm teaching. I know and I know you will meet me somewhere sometimes I, t I do a, meet a conference and I leave after two three years somebody is calling me still following me. pastor amen yeah like Esther I just taught her in high school in Ogloho girls after finishing high school nataka kuendelea na nimefundisha zaidi ya watu mianane in these schools and I have very few of them who still look for me and they still want to grow spiritually because some of the things I teach them across the schools or I send people who teach them they hardly find in their churches that's what I'm saying it is important to give what God has put in us to the generation how did I go there? I don't know <laughs> uh, but what I'm saying is look at Look at Esau. He decided to do whatever he wanted to do. He doesn't want to know whether their parents are. These Hittites who are not they are, who are not uh, worshipping the God of heaven and earth are worshipping idols. So this man just goes. Did you realize that there's a very weird behavior that people who are not Christians have. Have you known that? Anybody is not Christian. Very rude. I don't know if you understand. Very angry. Hmm? See, you are living with them. You know what I'm talking about. They are unmannered. They are where they are. <laughs> In fact, one of the things they cannot control is anger. They can slap you. 
They can is it good bar? I was coming from Nairobi the other day, just on Saturday night, and uh, they are sitting next to me. The driver stopped for some times, and then he picked somebody from here, and then one was so angry at him for no chifta. It's just a, a a passenger going. Hmm? Very angry. No kunavila na ongea mpaka onaona. Is breathing fire. <laughs> you see those people? If you have not been brought up in a setup like this, you are not friendly at all, very hostile. That is how the wives of Esa was. And she was a big stress and distress to the parents. I mean, a big distress. Look at verse 28. Sorry. Chapter 28 verse 1. The Bible says, And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him. This is a continuation from last chapter. Chapter 27, the last verse. Because now, Rebecca said, If even Jacob will marry from here, I am finished. <laughs> I am I am finished. Why is it that the mother is the one that feels more when the marriage of the children gets spoiled? Because she said, now I'm finished. The Bible here says, and Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said unto him, thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Now he's talking to who? Jacob. Your brother Esau has married the wrong Please, I am asking you. Hmm? Does this kind of talk happen in some of our houses? Nona vile kijana moja miaribika. Mzazi anaita mungina kasema. Oblezika nke ya kantai. Tafadhali. Atile manitai. Are there talks like that? So Bible is very, very true. Obletinta nte ya yu karabat. Tafadhali na nche yersin. It is a big distress when you find yourself, especially in the area of marriage, when you go in the wrong direction. And that's why I am telling you, pray God. Amen. I pray. Pray. Some of us prayed. Some of us. I'm saying some of us prayed. If you see me preaching here, I didn't just happen like this. Amen. I didn't just happen to be successful like this. I have prayed. In fact, if there is a time you need to pray more is now. To take in the word of God is now. So that all your thoughts, your everything, your decisions, your plans of life is affected by the word of God. And you can still stand strong. I realized when I went to high school, I was discipling people everywhere. When I went to university, I was having five different discipleship classes. I went to do what? Did somebody ask me, you to kubiri? I'm kusoma. When I went to Western, all over Western, I was doing, before I came to Marsabit, this word of God. And I realized how people are very, you know, Jesus, when he walks around, the Bible says, he sees people as sheep without shepherds. That is how I see whenever I walk around. Because they have not been fed well with the word of God. Because they have not been strongly established in the word of God. Things are coming from every corner, beating them from every side. And then some people sit there, just talk. It's not because nobody wants to be bad. Is that true? No. If somebody makes you for you a, a strong foundation, you will stand. So this Jacob is talking to uh, Isaac is talking to Jacob. Tafadali usiwe kutoka. Siata mimi ni wambia tafadali usiende kuwa wale ambao wajaokoka. That is where I'm going. Wana sifiwe. Tafadali, nimesema? 
I teach so many students across Marsabitant. Wakati wa nimeanguliza form 4. Girls now. Mostly girls have problem and may God preserve you. On the Maliza form 4 bad result D minus distant. And then the Muslims are so rich everywhere. They just go and get married to them in numbers. Not few. In numbers. But thank God for this church. You know, from the beginning you have a very strong foundation. And my prayer is that foundation should go stronger like never before. Even from the, for them that are coming up. So your foundation matters. And then, no, Jacob is sending sorry, Isaac is sending Jacob just like Abraham sent his servant to go and get his wife somewhere. Because he realized if Jacob will stay there for long, hata ya atasee mata mini mipata mwingine. And sometimes you see how parents speak to their, 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 their youths. Hmm? You know, somebody can say, I am in love with somebody and they can bring anybody. Arise, go to Padanaram, to the house of Bethel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence, of the daughters of Laban, thy brothers. Arise, go to Padana, Padanaram, to the house of Bethel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban, thy mother's brother. Esther, please. And God Almighty bless thee. Esther, please, I'm calling you. Uh, and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou may be a multitude of people. You see, he is blessing them. He's blessing who? Jacob. He says, go and marry from there and may God multiply you. Now, if Jacob has been called and blessed, what has happened to Esau? Does he have blessings from anywhere? Hmm? Esther, are you hearing? There's something happening here, I'm calling you. Read it, just come. Doing it for me. Sometimes. Okay. Then you can do it. Here, Isaac is blessing Jacob. He's saying, "If you go and marry from there, I have a blessing for you. I have blessed you. But if you go and marry from somewhere," Is there a blessing? Is there a blessing? It's no blessing. Kuya is a wolf footer. You are both in tantes in Ebison. Why can't you see And now we are looking at exactly when it comes to uh, us going outside the will of God. So he says, I, you will be multiplied. You will increase. You will... One of the reasons as to why God rejected Esau is because of his wrong association with the wrong people. I cannot always be fellowshipping with non-believers and please God. You are too far work working in all in Thai. As I am coming here. To a point where you also want to get married. Sometimes I wonder, how, how does it come? I have seen some of you and my friends. I'm saying my friends because 
You know, there are people, not, not, not the disciples who sit under my teaching. There are people, your friends, just from far, you know, there's also my friend. They don't subscribe to the teaching I do, even if they are believers. And then you, you just wonder, he's engaging a Muslim. The other day, that was last year, somebody just began coming to our church. And then he told me, Pastor, you know, I am in love with another girl from the other side. She's in form I want to marry her. And she has accepted to be a Christian. It was a lie. I told her, bring her to me. And as him, and he just moves in round, he doesn't bring. My friend, I told him the last minute, forget about her. As we are talking, he is Muslim, she is Muslim. As we are talking right now. But he was brought up in, in church. The mother cried and cried, cursed him. I told her, don't curse. God might bring her back. He might bring, God might bring him back. We don't know. He lost his job. He lost everything. So, now if you begin engaging with, you know, marriage is what God ordained. Even if you think that you have desire for the opposite sex, it's God who began that thing. But there's a way that he wants you to go. The reason as to why he's bringing you a helper or somebody will marry you is so that you'll progress the work of God. Cindy. Now when you go and bring to us somebody else who is not born again. Are you having the mindset of making the work of God grow wherever you are? You don't have. So that's why you become a reject. So God will look for another one. This one has married the wrong person. Let me look for somebody to raise. Let me tell you the truth. Even today, God is looking for people to use but he's not finding in churches because everybody is in his own way world. That's why my prayer is as I'm speaking, when I was coming here, when I was asked to speak here like some three, four weeks ago, the first thing that I had after I got that call is somebody must be raised for God in that generation. I realized whenever people sit under my teaching for quite some times, they become an instrument that God will use them. He can use you in business. He can use you in ministry. He can use you in... Some of you might, might know what is happening in Marsabit. There are some just young people who come and just sit. Like Gavasoso. You know Gavasoso? What has he been doing before? He made a mistake to enter that church. And God hit him. Now what is he doing? He's now preaching. Have you realized of, of late he's preaching on Facebook? He's not doing that. And there are so many, around six of them. That are greatly being used of God in Marsabit. Marsabit will never be the same again because of such people. God is looking for people to touch lives. Let me tell you something. God is turning. God is, we are in a transition period in the churches where we are. The transition period, what I mean is this. God is looking for who will take from our parents and take this gospel to the next and he's not finding people. And he's not finding people. I don't know what you're talking in Marsabit, Moyale. Even in Marsabit, 
Somebody has led charge for so long and is looking for internal raffle. Yajare. I'm to call in Are there such a problem in this area? Huh? Intermont and past that. Barba Dada Kani. Yes, <laughs> They are looking everywhere. I see pastors who feel like who take from me. And people might feel like, listen, if you have lived your life li right, God will pick on you. Some of the reasons as to why God is not picking on some people is because their life is not as God expects. They don't qualify to be used by God. Sometimes I wonder, why should this other faith nourish they increase like never before when our God is the true God and when you look at the early church chapter number 2 3, 4, 5, 6 7 of the book of Acts the Bible says the disciples were multiplied to church new people are being added every day and I have listen I have realized one of the things that I will do as a man God has raised in this time, I will bring back to the church what has been lost from the church. That's what I've decided to do. Bring back. There is no healing in the church. Everybody is sick everywhere. And they are saying, it is the will of God. God, if it is your will, heal me. For us, we say, it is the will of God for you to be healed. You can be healed today. Amen. And it's happening in the church. We say it is the will of God for you to prosper and increase in finances. But your finances must finance the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't become rich to show people that you are rich and you despise others. You become rich so that this gospel will go and reach everywhere. Wherever you go. Amen. Now that's why God makes you rich. You see rich people in the church today, everywhere because they are not spiritually strong. They hardly give to the church. Yesterday I was telling you something. One person can own money which a church cannot own and the church has so many rich people like that. Did I say, say that yesterday? Why should you be richer than the church? It's because people have not been taught the word of Yes. People have not been taught the word of God. There's no, no, much, no much mission happening. Like when you look at me, I do so many things. Radio program, live streaming, all this is money. We have over 100,000. We have, as small as the church is, we have a budget of 120,000 every month paying radio, sending people to high school to teach, fueling, and the church is small. Even this live streaming is money. We put this thing on YouTube for people to get. It's money. But many churches are dormant today. No mission is happening. No evangelism. How do we reach others? If you grow spiritually and increase, God will put money in your hand that even your parents have never seen. Amen. I know in Moyale we know people are rich. That is by their effort. If they can only accept to make this gospel saturate like never before. Listen in Jesus' name. Your parents have taken the gospel to the level they have done. You have to take it from where they have brought it to another level. This gospel should not die with you. Munaniskia. In Jibi, I get far kukufa na nini. We are so much proud of this church. You know, when you talk of Marsabit, which in Marsabit, which is the biggest church that we have, the biggest church in Marsabit County, which is it? This one. May God bless Pastor Ahmed wherever he is. That man is a leader. There's a way he discipled your parents. 
and he made this thing to happen. May God raise somebody who will take this work to the next level. In the name of Jesus. You know, I'm still praying for this church. Because that is a great man of God. If he didn't do this intensive discipleship that he did for your parents, even you yourself, you will not be here today. In fact, if you go to Marsabit, you realize, because there's not been discipleship, youths like you are lost, all of them, everywhere. But God is looking for you now. For you to take this work to the next level. You should not be less than your parents in spiritual growth. That is why you have to be so careful. And then another thing I know. There are some people that are your friends who have engaged themselves in this other in relationship with some other people. Are there people like that? There are people who have engaged themselves with other non-believers in the name of getting married to them. You are hearing this for them if you are not there. Even as kia kwa ya, they will ask you. And I'm really shishi pranke jiramanta. Bye kia sadi mpaka deli na male. Run for your life. That one is about running. You block that number. I know I'm talking to you because you might meet some of this kind of people. Run for your life. Bakat. Is block your tofa. In Tathani. Yes. It. Tell them block. Stop it and face God. I think I'm done. I hope my point is home. One as if you. Yeah, I think my point is home. I feel the grace is over for that session. If there is any question, I'm, bring, I'm finishing it at this point. Is there a question about? I think we received a question which is very hard to answer.